our Father, Messiah, and all the Spirit with us. <laughs> phone is phone, fell out my hand. <laughs> These are love, brothers and sisters. Um, yeah, I just um, I'm just gonna speak, you know, just on my basic goals, as you can see from the title. Just my basic goals are a basic man, you know, I may um, just get more personal with myself, learning myself way more every single day, and it's honestly a blessing to just know myself and just to know that our Father in Heaven wants you and needs you honestly to be yourself. He doesn't want you to be anybody else but yourself. Obviously, outside of what the scriptures say, I mean, we're called to be as what we're called to be, you know what I'm saying? Like, be as Messiah, you know what I'm saying? And just to follow in his footsteps and following Messiah, you know? That doesn't mean to just delete yourself, you know, whoever you are, this is whoever our Father in Heaven made you to be. You know, I was just speaking to my wife about, honestly, it was on power just because I just saw that the guy had, um, he wasn't specifically in this one, but the dude that was the White Ranger, he was, you know, if you ever seen Mighty One from Power Rangers, he was started off as green, then he turned into the white, and ended up passing away, and he passed away by suicide as well. So that was just, honestly, that was really sad to me. You know, I even texted my dad about that. You know, me and my dad were just talking about that. I'm just like, man, like, like, dude, like, I, like, I, I literally grew up looking at this guy, like Ivan Ooze, they was fighting him on the movie, you know, and all of these things, you know, I was just like, man, you know, honestly, it really affected me, especially knowing the way that he passed away, and just, again, just understanding that it's like, man, you know, it's like fame and riches for, 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 for why, you know, for what, you know, it's like, and then it's like a lot of these guys also get called when they're young, though, so it's like, I know they don't even fully understand, you know, it's like Satan, he's brainwashed us mentally, and he's abusing us, like, mentally, you know what I'm saying, and he's just like, brainwashing people and just selling their souls before they even do it and not even understanding what they're doing you know it's like it's just sad you know that wasn't going to be the topic of the video but i just yeah that makes me sad but yeah i mean you know i was watching um as this was as, ch as a child and i just remember it was on the uh the mystic force power rangers and obviously as god father forgive me i didn't even know this was for sins whatever watching these things and indulging in these things but i enjoyed it as a child you know so yeah i mean so yeah, it was called Mystic Force, you know, obviously involved magic, but it was one of the older ones, you know, and it was, um, like, one of the specific episodes. I don't remember, obviously, all the details, but I just remember that the, the fact of the matter that it stuck out to me that this was, like, the first Power Rangers that I watched where, like, they actually failed, you know, like, I believe they showed it a few times before, you know, like, them, like, failing, and they gotta, like, refine themselves, and, like, that's a, you know, because my wife was even asking me, like, why did you like it so much? It was just, like, they had a lot of deeper meanings for me as a child and even up to even in my life. Now, I'm not going to lie. Like, I literally, you know, I, I think about that stuff now. Like, man, like, you know, the deep stuff that I learned just as just growing up. You know, if you learn something, you learn something. If it's, if it's the truth. I mean, ultimately, every truth comes from our father, you know, regardless of where he showed you and how he showed you this truth. You know, any truths that are revealed to you are from the most high. So, it is what it is. But, um, yeah, so, uh, yeah, I was watching it and, um. Like, it was, like, on the episode, all of the color was gone. Like, as you know, obviously, they have their different outfits. Like, but the whole world was just was just colorless, you know. And they, they failed their mission, the bad guys. And then this literally shows you the proverb is true. And it's just talking about how that when the evil guys take over, you know, life is just terrible. Like, the evil guys won this time. And they showed you on time and time again on movies and all of these things. Like, literally what happens when the, the evil guys just literally take over. Like, it's just terrible. Like, it's just, it's just the worst thing ever. It's just terrible. Like, but yeah, so the evil guys took over. They literally took all of the color away from the world. And everything was just evil. You know what I'm saying? It was just evil. Like, it was just evil. Like, and the, and, and they had to find themselves, uh, like, again, like, go back and figure out who they were and who they are. You know, and our father calls us to do this. You know, you got to find yourself. He he tells you to go back to your child. So you have to figure out who you are so that you could find your, you know, go go back to the color. As a child, you know, you, you, you had the color. You, you had life in you, you know. And I, I just felt out of my life, you know. I firmly believe that our Father in Heaven needs and wants everybody to be their self. And, and I'm going to, you know, I'm going to show that as much as I can to everybody I come across, as I have been doing. And I will continue to show that until our Father wills me to come back home. I know that's a big thing that he's willing, dealing to show everybody else to be yourself. You know, I used to hate my name. My name means son of the wave, son of the sea. That's like the coolest thing to me. And I never looked at what my name meant because I hated my name. You know, like, it makes me want to cry right now. I literally hated my name, and I hated myself. And that stuff is sad. Like, you shouldn't, well, you shouldn't hate yourself. You know you shouldn't hate your name. Like, that's just not what you should do, you know? But, um, yeah, so, basic goals for me. And I'm just, because, like, I was just working out today, 
and it was just really hitting me that it's like you don't have to do and this is spiritually too like it's like both angles it's like spiritually i was fat like i was doing and i'm not saying there's nothing wrong with pushing yourself but i was pushing myself way too hard and it's like trying to i was pushing myself to a point where i was trying to make it seem like i was honestly like i was at a certain level that i wasn't at and it's like because i was just pushing myself day after day and again it's okay to push yourself but you also have to honestly take it easier on yourself and that's physically that'll teach you that too if you just do that all the time you'll you'll burn yourself out and that's what happened i got like spiritually burnt out you know not to say i just completely like quit or nothing like that like i'm just gonna go back sending you know for this we're not but i was like you know in terms of like fasting and things like that like i'm just like i gotta take a little easy on myself because i've been literally pushing myself you know what i'm saying it's some fast my father didn't even call me to do or will me to do i just was pushing myself that hard you know because he honestly i like he he's like your coach literally he's a spiritual coach and if you know anything about your coach yes your coach pushes you but i remember my coach also telling me even in physical like today we're gonna take it easy you know what i'm saying because you got to <laughs> like so that you can continue to push yourself you have to have times when you take it easy like that's when and 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 taking it easy is not that again i'm gonna just send or whatever not do the commands and everything no but hey like listen you did this this amount of thing you just did like it's like if you do a 40 days 40 nights fast you know obviously we have moshe going back up the mount he came down went back up i mean think about if he went back up again and again and again and just kept doing it you know what i'm saying oh he burnt out you know like and then understand every player is different you know everybody on the team is different you know, there's different things that we're gonna different positions that we're gonna be in you know some players are stronger than others like looking back at these hebrew words and these hebrew language like some of us have a stronger immuno level than others which is just an enhanced immuno level which is just you know you have moshe i was just reading the scriptures thinking about this today like you have moshe and you have aaron obviously they're extremely they're, they're at a strong level spiritually that's not to say that everybody else around them didn't believe in our father as well too and we're doing the things that they were told to do as well too but we hear about Moshe and we hear about Aaron. And I'm just reading again, just understanding all of this work that Moshe put in and that Aaron put in. I were really doing a lot. You know what I'm saying? And again, it's not to say that every, like all the other children of Israel, just like all you other guys are wicked. It's only Moshe and Aaron. You know what I'm saying? Like, nah, that's not, you got Joshua there too. You know what I'm saying? Like that was still around during those times. You know, he was with them, you know? But it's like, it just shows you that there's, there's just, different people at different levels even as they'll say in the scriptures like you know if you know they'll have they'll say the major prophets and minor prophets that's not to say that at the end of the day they're still prophets but it's like you know just that's just it's just like what it could be like you know that's not for somebody that or anybody that feels some type of way i mean it's like you have star players on the team you have other players on the team that are still on the team but you know it's just like it's just star players still have other players Everybody's on the team, and everybody has a role to play on the team. You know, that's the best way I can explain. But yeah, you don't want to um, push yourself too hard when you don't need to. And I felt like I was doing that, like, because obviously if I'm doing it spiritually, I was doing it physically, you know, and I'm just I'm pushing myself way too hard. And just, like, I had to understand that, well, first, I was depressed for a long time. So, honestly, I was just thinking I was just going to die. You know, you know, death and life is in the power of the... Um, is in the power of the tongue, you know, is in, in the power of what you speak, you know, and um, I just, I was depressed for a while, you know, I can't lie, and our father literally just recently got me out of that, like, like, literally all the way out of it, like, I was depressed for a long time, and I just thought I was gonna die, you know, I don't know why, that's just, well, that's just what I was feeling like, and I had to ask our father, I'm a sign of spirit to honestly forgive me, you know what I mean, for just being in this deep depression, but it was just because I feel like I was depressed ever since I was a child. So it was just like a, like I was depressed. I was just depressed for like a long, long time, brother. So that's the, I guess that's the best way I can explain it. And you know, it's like, I had to realize that I'm still alive. You know, if that makes sense. You know, even after our father healed me, literally, you know, cleansed me from my sins. I'm just like, I'm still here. You know, like I'm still living, I'm still breathing. And, but it also, again, is bringing it back to my child self, like, you know, I always wanted to live, you know, like, I honestly, I wanted to live as long as possible, like, because I, I really enjoy life. I, again, I would rather just live forever, but, you know, I love life, you know, but I, again, I would rather live forever, you know, like, that's, that interests me more than obviously just saying how wicked this, this stuff is. I mean, I wouldn't want to stay here, you know what I'm saying? Like, again, like, for, like, I wouldn't want to stay here forever, obviously, just go to like a fire and just indulge in the wickedness down here that doesn't make any, that isn't, that, that's, that, that's, that's unprofitable, you know? that wouldn't make any sense but um yeah so yeah you know i was pushing myself 
really hard. And today it just hit me because I was doing it literally like, I don't, all the way up today it just like hit me. And I was just like, like honestly, spiritually and physically, I'm just like, Father, just like, are you going to listen? Now, you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't have to continue to do these routines that you don't even like, you know, because I'm telling others to like, and this was just physical, you know what I'm saying? But honestly, it tells spiritually and physically, you know, it's, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's everything's connected, you know? So, yeah, so I'm just like, Father's just like, yeah, like, you don't want to tell others because I've spoken to others about you want to do routines and you want to work out in a way that you enjoy because I feel like that's the best workout program I could also give anybody to work out in a way that you enjoy. Obviously, listening to our Father in Heaven and just to do whatever is well by our Father in Heaven. In terms of physically working out, though, so that you can do this the longest, like I plan on working out for the rest of my life. And it's like if you're always pushing yourself and you're not enjoying what you're doing, you're not gonna like. You're not gonna. You're not gonna keep doing that stuff because you don't like it. So yeah. So I just. I just. Again, I just got. Like I just talking to my father. I just got all the way back to like the basic goals of why I ever even started to do this in the specific routines that are my specific favorite routines. And a walking is definitely one of them. And just um, and understanding why I even ventured on this, like why I hopped on this journey in the first place, you know, spiritually and physically, and the things that I was seeking when I first was seeking our Father, and when I first looked at a calisthenics video when I came home, you know what I'm saying? I thought I was in jail for like a day and a half or whatever, and I just, like before that even too, I just wanted to, I wanted to understand like people could get fit off of just body weight training, things like that, and specific routines that I saw and things that caught my attention and you know I got caught up on flashy things spiritually first and then physically so let's just get into it I mean so basic goals I just wrote it down 10 sets of 10 you know that's 10 sets of 10 clean pull-ups clean uh, dips and clean push-ups because I had to understand a lot of people's form isn't clean you can feel it in your push-ups a little bit to the left side or a little bit to the right side you know what I'm saying not correct going all the way uh not going all the way down and all the way up clenching your uh your core even and all of these different things you know like this is this is perfect form this will allow you to progress honestly the fastest and I had to learn even like the routine I did that stick you know did a cool 20 down uh 200 push-ups you know I added the two at the end usually how I do and I usually do more but after that I was just kind of worn out and our father was like, it's because you first you're doing these like you're doing perfect form and my form can still get better. And I learned that. And it's like, honestly, the routine is still it's still hard for me. You know what I'm saying? Because our father is just telling me, like, it's going to take time to master these things, like just like spiritually, you know, physically as well. And then you have to understand, like, even when I look around in the gym, like not coming at nobody. And I've helped a few people out, the ones our fathers will me to. If you look around, I mean, everybody's not doing full range of motion, perfect form, but maybe too high, specifically on push-ups, even pull-ups, you know, legs behind the uh uh legs behind uh the back, you know. And honestly for me, I'm not gonna say that's that's um that's bad form, specifically on the pull-ups and legs behind your back, but you are not engaging all of the muscles you could be engaging. I spoke about this before if your legs are in the front of you. And you will notice the difference. And I've trained people like that and they've told me they've noticed the difference. It's a, it's a completely different exercise. Because that's what it turns into when you do everything the way it's supposed to be done. How I feel, you know what I'm saying? Because I feel like exercising, first and foremost, and then this is your journey and you walk spiritually first. It's between you and our father before anybody else. So you got to get yourself together. You know what I mean? And I was even talking to our father about how it's like even when I used to play um like video games. And I remember I was making videos online about that stuff. Like first and foremost, I like I always thought about how the game wasn't just created for me. And, you know, it's created for others as well. So... It's like this life. It, it, life wasn't just created for Dylan. You know, it was created for everybody around me. So I always felt like we should be helping each other out, you know, so we all could have the most fun from this game because I didn't know, obviously, the wickedness why games were created for a long time, I thought. Even when I was in the body, you know, just a confession, you know, I, I was still playing games and things like that even when I was making videos online, you know, uh, outside of, like, since, like, a year back and some changes when I finally stopped, you know, playing video games like that. Like, uh, but yeah, because I didn't understand, like, you know, that it was really even bad, you know, for some time, you know. And uh, when I was watching uh, the valid his family testimony, it really spoke out to me because I was like, yeah, I was um, I was playing games for some time, family, like, I was really into that stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm like, my point being was that when I was playing the game, though, I always just wanted to um, 
and I always liked it when people would help out. Like there would be some people who would reach the max level and all they do on the game now is just to help out other people. Like when I would play MMORPGs and stuff like that, like they would just be there to help out people. And I just saw this is, if anything I wanted to do, I just always wanted to help out people, you know, but though, honestly, I had to learn that first comes with helping out yourself and you learning this stuff first. Cause if I don't know about the stuff, you know, then how can I help somebody else? I had to learn that again, spiritually first then physically. And I got humble. I, still, I got, I just got humble today. I mean, I get humbled every day, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. So my basic goals were 10 sets of 10, uh, 10 clean pull-ups, 10 clean dips, 10 clean push-ups, and done within an hour. So this is my goal right now, my short term, just to maintain that, you know. And I've done it, but just to maintain it. And I want to do it unbroken. Unbroken is doing the 10 pull-ups. I mean, like, you just don't break any number. Like, you do the 10 clean, you do the 10 dips, you do the 10 push-ups. You know, you take your little rest, and then you do the next set unbroken. You don't break like you like I don't do nine and then drop off the bar for the pull-ups and then do another pull-up you know what I'm saying I want to maintain that and do that unbroken before I move on to the next number and the next number is going to be to improve that to 10 sets 12s and then move on to 10 sets of 15s and then my ultimate goal for me personally is to move on to 10 sets of 18 and just to maintain that if I can maintain 10 sets of 18 clean pull-ups 18 clean dips and 18 clean push -ups, I mean that's really strong you know so that's what I'm doing you know uh, done perfect form and within an hour father willing that's my goal so i pray that i can honestly get to that you know physically and you know my goals are just to be healthy all throughout the day you know i honestly could care less about doing flashy moves i guess you could say and that's that's in terms of like um not to say i won't include them in my training like further down the line but right now i don't really care to do a muscle up or a pistol squat or anything like that right now handstand nothing like that because i just want to master the basics you know i just want to do the basics of calisthenics and i want to do the basics even spiritually you know i want to be able to you know, just continue to just build a relationship with our father. Honestly, just gonna write, just gonna read what I wrote down because that's, that's like my goal spiritually. So yeah, honestly, from the beginning, it's the same goes now spiritually first and physically. I had to learn that. I mean, the goal spiritually for me is just to maintain a relationship. And this was for, this how it was for me in the beginning. You know, I was just tired of obviously knowing that I did things wrong to even myself and other people, and then I hurt people. You know, um, and I just wanted to. Uh, you know, I just wanted to keep love about everything else and show and tell people about love and just keep love in my heart and not be prideful. I never even thought about doing stuff like that. Like, even when I was in the world, I mean, honestly, I had prideful moments, but, you know, I just asked our Father Messiah and Spirit to forgive me, and these, these moments came into my spiritual walk as well, and I had to ask our Father Messiah and Spirit to forgive me for that. I mean, but from the beginning, um, my goal was just to maintain and gain a relationship with our Father, and I wanted to get cleansed, you know, and I want to remain cleansed. I knew I needed to get healed, and now I just want to remain healed, and I want to remain on the righteous path. I wanted to gain this on this righteous path, and I wanted to be on the path toward the kingdom of heaven because I knew the way that I was living, honestly, it was going to get me sent to hell, and I knew that's not where I wanted to go ever since a child. I was always scared of that, and I didn't want to go there, and I don't want to go there now, so I just listened to our Father in heaven, and I just want to maintain love and just love everybody and to grow more in love with myself, honestly, and all the others around me, you know what I mean? Including, obviously, you know, from my love for our Father with all of my heart, all of my mind, all of my soul. I mean, so physically the same as the beginning. Just to understand that your body can grow off body weight training mainly. This is my goals physically. Because I thought that it was possible as well to just to allow your body to grow off just strictly body weight and calisthenics. I didn't think that that was possible. And to look amazing and to maintain a great physique, you know, that's my goal. And to also have something awesome that I could do strength-wise with my body. My main goal is, just, is, my main goal is strength above everything else. And before you can get to that goal of strength, you have to understand endurance. So I had to understand that and reading the obviously the personal trainer book, things like that. It taught me that, you know what I mean? Uh, and that's and you'll see the tall ones even speak about endurance spiritually as well. Like you need to you need endurance. You know? Yeah, so I could do strength wise in my body, my main goal is strength above everything else. I just wanted to be strong and healthy. Definitely I always just wanted to be strong and healthy and to look the part of being a man as well as to feel it. I mean, but I had to understand that feeling, uh, that feeling of being a man. That has nothing to do with your outer. That's it. all it do with inner. I had to learn that. So I'm thankful our Father haven't taught me that. And it's just a blessing. I mean, you have to feel it inside as well. And that's all about strength and being able to maintain that. I mean, I pray our Father, my Son, Holy Spirit, may allow me to reach every goal set out and to maintain them spiritually first, obviously, and physically. I mean, you got to drop everything that you had. Uh, you got to drop all the things that you had in the world. Because I remember just talking to my wife because... You saw my testimony, but um, you know, to speak about it again, honestly, me and my wife prayed for each other, and the thing that I prayed for, for my wife, was just, honestly I just dropped everything I had on the world. Like you know, I want a ten out of ten. These are things that I thought about 
in the world, you know what I'm saying, I had to drop during this prayer. I mean, just wanting a woman, feeling lowly at the point I was at in my life, just being sad and, you know, feeling like I was just lost and hating everything around me, honestly. I just was in a dark place. And I'm just like, man, but, I, but, then, I, but then I was still holding on to all the, these dogmas and things of the world. Like, I want to... 100 out of 10, 10 out of 10, wifey, she got to be a dime, and, you know, I don't have, I had to really take my, look at myself in a mirror and understand, like, you know, I'm not the most handsomest guy, you know what I'm saying, regardless of what many people may think, I just, I, I got eyes to see, and not to be gay or weird, I mean, but I can see, even when I was in the world, when somebody really looks like a, you know, like, like, as they say in the scriptures, like, this guy was the most handsomest in the land, like, there's, like, you can tell when somebody's extremely, you know, they look, they look handsome. And I'm not saying I look ugly or nothing like that. Like, you know, I, I know what our father's blessed me with. You know, I'm, I'm just saying, though, I just take a look around and be like, hold on, you know, I got to check myself. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm asking to have a 10 out of a thousand, you know, like, what am I? You know what I'm saying? I just had to check myself. And that was when I put that prayer up. And that was about 2018 with my wife. And our father blessed me with my wife in 2018, you know, so. But I had to do that. And that's something you got to do in every category. Drop everything that you had from the world so that our father can fully bless you. You know what I'm saying? Because you can't bless you if you're still in the world can't be in the word and in the world you know what i'm saying you gotta pick one i mean you gotta fully in, indulge into our father's word his word and this will allow you to progress i mean no matter how hard you go just understand just understand that it takes time everything takes time and it's a blessing and nobody can rush time i mean stay yourself and be real i mean yeah father my son is with us i love you all family have a blessed day i mean